I'm sure like for real. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And thank you for clicking on this video. If you're new, thank you for clicking on this video. And make sure to subscribe and watch some more videos down below. And if you're not, thank you so much for sticking with me. So today I'm uh, doing a Zambian tag slash get to know me tag. It was just supposed to be a Zambian tag, but I figured I have not really done a get to know me tag or any Q&A. So like so many pending things. And the Zambian tag that I'm doing is like most questions are just about me. And uh, yeah, so somehow you're getting to know me. So we're doing a Zambian tag slash get to know me tag. And with that being said, Let's get right into this video. Don't feel like putting makeup on my cheeks. Do what I wanna. Love every single part of my body. Talk to the body. So these are just like a bunch of questions that I'll be answering. Anyway, so first question is, what is uh, your Zambian name? Well... What is your Zambian name? Um, my Zambian names are Agnes Bualia. Agnes Bualia Mlenga or Agnes Mlenga Bualia. Bualia is my family name or surname, as you say. My Bualia is my surname, and my names are my Zambian names are Agnes Bualia Mlenga. Mlenga is like more of my Zambian name because I think uh, Agnes is like an English name or something. So, yes. And uh, where was I born? I was born, I've been in Zambia my whole life. I, I was born in Zambia. I've lived in Zambia my whole life. I was born in Kitwe and I've stayed in Kitwe my whole life. The only time that I left Zambia is when I went to do my studies in India. And after that, I came right back in Zambia. So yeah, I was born in Zambia in Kitwe specifically. Uh, what is your favorite Zambian movie? Oh, my favorite Zambian movie. Let me see. I've not really watched any Zambian movies. So this is kind of like, oh, I have to think. Oh, yeah. Uh, I used to watch, like, not even maybe on a daily basis. So just sometimes I used to watch. Okay, baby. Thank you. You want a jiggy? Where did you go? <laughs> My favorite Zambian movie. Yeah, I used to watch. Uh, not like. Um, sometimes I used to watch uh, this. Uh, like it was a series that used to come on TV, Love Games. And I think if I was ever asked what, because I've never watched any other movies, and I think that one was like great. So yeah. That one would go for this one. My favorite Zambian song. Hello, hey, Wagwan. Ninshile chite kapa Wagwan. Washimudi kenge Wagwan. Katuri pamo pungamu. By the way, I can't, I cannot dance. And I know that you just watch something really, really horrible because I can dance. But that is my favorite Zambian song at the moment. Uh, yeah, I'm not really a music person. I'm a more I'm more of a movie person, but but I love that song like, Even if you don't want to dance you can literally dance to that song. So at the moment that is my favorite Zambian song when uh, Who is your favorite Zambian musician like I said, I'm not really a music person even though I do listen to music like sometimes but I'm not a music person, so I don't really follow, not even, not, not only Zambian musicians, like literally, I don't follow a lot of music, but I do follow that because, you know, social media and all. But if I was, if I was to select any Zambian, like they just ask me, who's your favorite Zambian musician? And I have to say it right there. I would say Pompey or Bobby East. I kind of like Bobby East, but I would definitely say Pompey. Uh, favorite Zambian food? I'm a Shima person, like, I'm a Shima person. If you ever invite me to your place, do not cook me anything other than Shima. I love Shima, Uwali, Ugali, Suji. My Indian friends, you know what I mean when I say Suji. Yeah, so yeah, 
Nsima is definitely my favorite Zamian food. What tribe are you? What tribe are you? And if you're a Zambian and you know my name is Agnes Mlengawalia, you definitely know I am Bemba by tribe. Yeah, Bemba. So, um, yeah, and the next question was supposed to say, say something in your language, which is Bemba. Shishibeftia uh, Kolanda. So, Shishibeftia Kolanda. So, yeah, I already said. So, yeah. I speak Bemba a lot. I remember when I was in school, like, literally, I would just speak big bamba throughout because yeah you know how indians are they love their language so it was like oh they're trying to talk to you in their language and you'll be like eh, and chan. yeah so just you know that thing so yeah my tribe i'm bamba by tribe and uh yeah i just said something in my language uh bamba is also like the most spoken language in uh, zambia and yeah unless you are you're in lusaka which is the capital uh, they speak Nyanja and guys I <laughs> I don't know how to speak Nyanja like literally I can't speak Nyanja like um, maybe I would understand just a few words and I would say a few words like just like just that just that and when somebody uh, I remember when I went to Lusaka like uh, last month or uh, a month plus, I went to Lusaka and everybody was speaking in Yanja and I was just like, and people think like when you're there, people would think like you pretend or something, but they don't know that you've been in Kitwe your whole life, literally. I never even used to visit Lusaka. I just started visiting Lusaka recently. Only to know two languages. That's English and Bemba. Oh, anyway, so what, uh, what do you like about Zambia? Number one thing, like what's there not to like? It's it's my birthplace, you know. But Zambian weather is like really really great because I'm in India for like three years, and trust me, guys, when I say people have extreme weather, like it will be so cold and it will be very 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 hot like too hot i'm telling you so zambian weather is like very really really nice because here it's like hot but you know you can survive yeah and it's like cold but not too cold but uh in some but uh, i think the, the weather is like changing because um three years back even before i left for school it wasn't like this because this is the first time i was experiencing like after coming back i experienced a uh, winter i experienced summer yeah and uh when it was winter it was like cold i was like oh my god i think zambia is starting to become cold like soon we're going to be experiencing snow and now it was like summer and it was like hot and i'm like is this an indian hotness is this the indian hotness oh my goodness but yeah but the temperature is is not compared to india like it's nice and um the other thing i like about zambia like yeah, it's my birthplace and Zambia is just like fun, you know. Yeah. So uh what do you hate about Zambia? What do you hate about Zambia? What do I hate about this place? What do I hate about it? I think pretty much the thing that I hate about Zambia, most people hate about it because they've heard people talk about it a lot. Thing is that Zambians are not supportive, like literally. Like I just think they would rather support somebody from some other place than their own local thing i don't know you guys need we not we need to change we need to support one another because you know you cannot support somewhere somebody from somewhere else and you know wherever that you're coming from isn't that great so that is even development you know it comes from you have to start with the place where you are it's, mm -hmm. it being at home you cannot support somebody from the next house or from the next place without supporting the people that you're staying with. You need to start with... Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, say, um, uh, which schools did you attend in Zambia? The schools I have attended in Zambia. Um, I, I was at Sacred Heart Secondary School in Kitwe, a really really small school somewhere around 
hometown. Yeah, I was there in my eighth and ninth grade. That is junior secondary. Yes, I was there. And then after that, I went into boarding school, and that was at Igo International School in Mufliere. So, yeah, those are the schools I have attended. And, yeah, before that, when I was in, like, I was really young, I used to go to uh, St. John's. St. John's. So, those are the schools I attended in Zambia. I guess that is the last question. And so, those are the few things about me and few things about Zambia. And if you still want to know more things about me, because I've never done a QA and a and I've never done a Get to Know Me, this is the first video I'm uploading. So, if you feel like there are some things that you still need to know about me that I left out, uh, be sure to leave it down in the comment section or tag me on my social accounts and i will be sure to respond to all of your questions i will be sure to do a part two and if there are things that you would like me to do address just do mention mention it on my social account so that concludes my video guys make sure to like comment and subscribe and turn on your post notification so that you can get um notified every time that i upload a video yeah so that it completes my video thank you so much for watching see you next time i upload bye